I am soaking my black eyed peas overnight and I have about seven cups of water. And I have my collard greens, but I will cook those tomorrow. Yeah, I'm lazy. I buy the collard greens that are already cut up. So what? Happy New Year. I have some baby back ribs and I'm just seasoning the meat right now and I'm using garlic salt. My favorite smoked seasoned salt on Jean powder. I will also sprinkle some brown sugar on them. I'll go ahead and poke holes in the meat just so my teriyaki sauce can get in there. All right, so it is New Year's Day and I have my salt pork and my ham hock and my diced up white onion and this will be for my black eyed peas along with some chicken broth. So I'll go ahead and saute the cut up pieces of salt pork and onion and while that is sauteing I will rinse off the black eyed peas. They've already soaked overnight and I'll go through them and pick out the yucky looking ones. And I will go ahead and add in my chicken broth to the salt pork and onion and add a little bit of water and put the black eyed peas on in there. Add more water and use my fave seasonings which are <laughs> onion powder, garlic salt, salt, and seasoned salt. And I'll go ahead and put my ham hock right there in the middle. Don't ask me why I did that. But anyway, moving on to my collard greens. I like to wash my greens and then pick out the pieces that I do not like. I wash them and rinse them really good. I already have my pot boiling. Yes, it's a small pot because Micah doesn't really eat collard greens. But I have my pot boiling with my ham hock and it's already seasoned the water. And I go ahead and put my collard greens in there. Now onto my baby back ribs. I took them out the refrigerator from the marinade and I just covered them with aluminum foil and put them in the oven on about 300 degrees for about three hours they baked. So now on to my macaroni and cheese. I used three different cheeses this time and I think it is sharp cheddar cheese, Monterey Jack and extra sharp cubed cheese. So I go ahead and stir all that up including with the egg and the macaroni noodles and the seasoning. Pour them into my glass casserole dish. And I put the extra cheese, sprinkle that right on top, and I go ahead and bake that for about 30 to 45 minutes alongside the baby back ribs. So now I am checking my collard greens. They look good and so do my black eyed peas. I took the baby back ribs out of the oven. I probably should have took them out sooner, but I think they got a little bit browner because of the brown sugar I put on top. But now I am just going to put a layer of my favorite barbecue sauce on the top and I will put them back in the oven for broil for a few minutes. So now you can see the finished collard greens and the black eyed peas, my macaroni and cheese, and I cut up my baby back ribs. The meat is falling off the bone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was my New Year's Day 2014 dinner. I will do my best to put the recipe below and thanks for watching.